It's you. It's real. Lilith. No, no, please, don't be frightened. My name is Nicodemus. I, I ministered to you, Lilith. I don't answer to that name. I am Mary. I was born Mary. But you were called Lilith, yes? Please, I must go. No, no, please, Mary. I, I am desperate for your help, Mary. I'm a, I'm a Pharisee. I'm visiting from Jerusalem. I'm a man of God. And I believe you have experienced a miracle, Mary. Are you really a Pharisee? Yes. yes. I'm sorry, I wasn't... A, I'm not here to enforce Jewish law. So how do you know who I am? You really don't remember me at all. I burned incense. I don't remember. It's all a blur. I can't go back into that. No, no, I don't want you to. I can't even imagine. But you you are healed. That, that much is clear. I just want to understand how it happened. That makes two of us. <laughs> How long after my visit did you feel the change? It wasn't anything you did. It was someone else. Some one else? He called me Mary. He said, I am his. I am redeemed. It was so. Who did this? I don't know his name. And even if I did, I could not tell you. Why not? His time for men to know has not yet come. His time for men? <laughs> he performs miracles and seeks no credit? Well, what does he look like? Is he a member of Sanhedrin? Would you at least know him if you saw him again? <laughs> I don't know why I am sharing this with you. I... I don't understand it myself. But here is what I can tell you. I was one way. And now I am completely different. And the thing that happened in between was him. So yes, I will know him for the rest of my life. <laughs> I have to be home to prepare for Shabbat, as I'm sure you do. So mean that you're even hosting Shabbat dinner. It will be nothing like yours, I'm sure of that. But I'm going to try. Shabbat Shalom Nicodemus. Shabbat Shalom, Mary. Welcome, Nicodemus. Don't be alarmed. He's waiting for you. I asked the owner of this house for more lanterns, but he said they would draw attention. Yes, I imagine they would. The human eye is drawn to light. We can't help it, it just happens. There are many things we are drawn to without our thinking or our ability to explain why. Thank you for agreeing to meet. Thank you for trying to help Mary when you did no help. You were meant to be there. Me? So I could fail miserably at an exorcism in the Red Quarter? <laughs> if you had not been there that day, would you be on this roof tonight? I 
don't know where to start. I have so many questions. I... Shall we sit first? Oh, yes. Of course. The Eastern Slums. Hmm. Many wandering preachers have succeeded in gathering crowds with their rhetoric and fiery tone. I've heard a few of them over the years myself. So you know the type. Mm -hmm. But I have never heard anyone tell a paralytic to get up and walk, much less it actually happened. So what is your conclusion? I believe you are not Acting alone. No one can do these signs you do without having God in him. Only someone who has come from God. And how is that belief going over in the synagogue? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why we are here at this hour. What else? Have you come here to show us? A kingdom. That is what our rulers are worried about. No, not that kind. Then what? A sort of kingdom that a person cannot see unless he is born again. Born again? Yes. You mean like a new creature? A conversion from Gentile to Jewish? No. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Then what is born again? <sighs> I hope you don't mean return to the womb, because that would be a problem for me. My mother, may she rest in peace, is dead. Truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. That part of you, that, is what must be reborn to new life. How can these things be? Ah, a teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand these things, huh? I'm trying, Rabbi. I know. I know. Do you hear this? you hear? The wind? How do you know it's the wind? Because I can feel it. I hear it sound. Do you know where it comes from? No. Do you know where it's going? No. That's what it is to be born again of the Spirit. The Spirit may work in a way that is a mystery to you. And while you cannot see the Spirit, you can recognize His effect. Mind is consumed with thoughts of what a stir these words would cause among the teachers of the law. Yes, and I do not expect otherwise. I speak of what I know and have seen, and it has not been received by the religious leaders. It is hard to receive. So if I have told you of earthly things, and you do not believe, how can I tell you heavenly things? I believe your words. I just fear you may not have a chance to speak many more of them before you are silenced. I have come to do more than speak words, Nicodemus. More miracles? Yes. But even more than that. Do you remember when the children of Israel complained against God and against Moses in the wilderness of Paran? Yes. They wanted to return to Egypt and they cursed the manna that God sent them. And then? They were bitten by serpents. And they were dying. But? But God made a way for them to be healed. Moses lifted the bronze serpent in the desert, and people only needed to look at it. So will the Son of Man be lifted up, so that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. Our people are not dying from snake bites. They're dying from taxation and oppression. I'm sorry to disappoint you. But I did not come to deliver the people from Rome. Then from what? From sin. From spiritual death. 
God loves the world in this way. That he gave his only son. That whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So this has nothing to do with Rome. It's all about sin. God did not send his son into the world to condemn it, Nicodemus. He sent him to save it through him. It's as simple as Moses' serpent on the pole. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already. Have you ever heard anything like this before? Shh. When I met Lilith, Mary, that day, I told my wife and my students I said, she was beyond human aid. Only God could have healed her. And then I saw her. Healed. And here you are. The healer. I, my whole life, I have Today's time, we leave Capernaum. Come see the kingdom I am bringing into this world. But I, I, I can't. You have a position in the Sanhedrin. You have family. You are getting advanced in years. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. But the invitation is still open. The invitation to what exactly? lead a nomadic life to to give up who I am it's true there is a lot you would give up but what you would gain is far greater and more lasting is this another one of your born again mysteries <laughs> uh, maybe I know mysteries aren't easy for a scholar Think about it. Hmm? Take your time. On the morning of the fifth day, we leave and we'll meet by the well in the southern quarter. I am standing on holy ground. <laughs> holy roof. <laughs> your speech for me it's nothing but they want to honor you for the great things you have done here <laughs> give them a thrill my remarks will be extemporaneous <laughs> you are one of those rare men who excels in both rehearsed and unrehearsed speech 
And you are not guilty of bias, are you? But those are not my words. Uh -huh. Kaivas said that about you at our last Shabbat dinner. Kiev is just flattering. There is no one above the high priest but God. What is he to gain from you by flattery? Well, he has never complimented my cooking. <laughs> Do you remember at that final dinner when Eliel sang to Havala? She was glowing, his voice the sweeter for the child in her womb. Brought tears to my eyes. And can you picture Moshe and Gideon? Their little chins resting on the table. When you say the Yeshe Chayil, that's the way Shabbat was meant to be. Family, knit together around the table. My mother's gilded plates, your grandmother's candlesticks. May she rest in peace. I do miss her. And if she could see you now, receiving the highest honor ever bestowed by our order, she would burst with pride. I remember the inscription she had over the doorway of her room. Adonai El Roy. The Lord, the, the God, God who, who sees, sees me. The words of Hagar. She always loved that Hagar was caught up in something complicated and fraught, but not of her choice. And yet, God saw her, and he knew that the path she was forced to take would not be an easy one. When we stumble onto hard roads, he finds us and comforts us. Or does he call us to them? Persian myrrh and camphor to commemorate our last day in Capernaum. One last day. Nicodemus. I love our life. As do I. Take me back to it. I <clears throat> changed my mind. I, I will. Everyone. Everyone's here? Yes, this is all of us. Is there anyone else? Look at this. What is that? I don't know. Let's find out. Gold. A friend of mine left that for us. It's enough for two weeks of food and lodging. <laughs> you came so close. What do you mean? 
need the gopher to make it to a camp in Tiberius by nightfall. Simon is correct. Let's go. Are you gonna wear that? On a trip. These are my clothes. Should I have others? <laughs> 